Corey Hoppin in Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, Manoli Barris. Today, we'll hear a new Fun Fact Friday from Mr. Rockwood. We'll show you a new Have You Seen This, and we'll hear your answers from the question of the day. But first, here's Mr. Keller for the Minute with the Principal. Welcome to Minute with the Principal. We are nearly through MCAT season for yet another year. Thank you to each of you and your teachers for your attention and effort during this time. Special thanks to Mrs. Ben Benick, the administrator behind the MCAS curtain. We have just eighth grade science left to go. As you surely know, we have incredible artistic talent in our school and we're happy to feature it in next Thursday's art show. Congratulations to all of you who had your work selected for the art show. And thanks, of course, to Mrs. Willinger, Ms. Rowland, and Ms. Brummett for their efforts. Now that the weather, fine weather is upon us, our baseball, softball, and track teams are playing and they're having outstanding seasons. Make sure you take the opportunity to go see them. Our track team has two home meets next week, Monday and Thursday, and baseball and softball teams both have home games on Tuesday and Thursday. Grade 8 students, we look forward to seeing you a week from today in our first school event in the courtyard. This is an exciting opportunity for our first party in the courtyard. Thanks very much. Have a great day today and a great weekend. Thank you, Mr. Keller. Now let's turn our attention to Mr. Rockwood as he gives us a new Fun Fact Friday. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Today, we're going to talk about plural forms of animals. And despite contrary belief, the plural form of moose is not meese. But we do have plural forms for these three animals here, as well as the collective terms for a group of those three animals. So fox becomes foxes, whereas most plurals, you know, you just simply add an S. But in fox, we add an ES. Now, a group of foxes is known as a troop or earth of. Whereas for wolf, to make it plural, we drop the F and add V-E-S. And a collective group of wolves is known as a pack or a herd. And lastly, for goose, to become plural, we change the two O's in goose and make it geese by adding two E's where the O's were. And we have a gaggle or a flock of geese. Have a great weekend. Thank you very much, Mr. Rockwood. And now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for, the question of the day. Where today we asked you, what do you like more, movies or books? Here are your answers. Do you like books or movies better? Movies. I like movies better. I like books better. Same. I think movies are better just because they're better Sorry. and books are lame. I prefer movies. Movies. I'm going to have to go with movies. We movies! Because they're awesome. <laughs> books! Books! Movies. Books. Books. Movies. Books. I like movies better than books. Books are pretty weird. I like movies. Movies, because books take way too long to read. Books are disgusting. I say books because movies make me cry. I say books because they're way better than movies. Movies! Movies, because I can't read. Books all the way. Movies. Movies. It's movies. TV shows. Thanks for you sharing your answers, everyone. And finally, it's time for the Have You Seen This? Last week's picture was of the mural in the upstairs sixth grade hallway. Congratulations to Margaret Clements and Lisa Lewandowski for finding it. Stop by the office after school to claim your prize. And now, here's this week's pictures. Do you know where it is? If you do, send an email to hmstv at hillers.org, and you could be our next winner. That's all for this week, middle school, for HMS Today. I'm your host, Manoli Barris. Now get out there and study hard.